Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining today's time for some Europa Eater results for as Byzantium in our Justine's Legacy campaign. Last we left off, we've conquered a, a lot of territory from Anatolia, and we're not trying to get everything cored. It's going to take a little bit because we're a little lacking in uh, admin points, but we're not doing too bad. And then we're clearing us rebels and such. Uh, income is terrible, but as to be expected because we have a lot of overextension and things. Yeah, no, nothing too bad, though. It's nothing too crazy. Um, we got some rebels and things, but, you know. What's to be expected, I think. What's to be expected. Um, we're probably going to declare war on Andalusia here in a little bit. Try and take some some stuff from North Africa. Probably just take take most of what I can at least see. Austrian Savoy Yard Imperialist War against Savoy, huh? So Austria's declaring war in Savoy. Uh, Savoy's allied with Switzerland and Netherlands. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, that means we could probably declare war in Tuscany then. Right. We got a personal union over. Um, we got a personal union over um, Ethiopia. If you guys didn't didn't already know um, from last episode, it's pretty cool. Jesus. And we took a loan, unfortunately. Yeah, this uh, overextension is pretty bad. So we're not allied to Tuscany in this war. So I could declare war on Tuscany, and also inadvertently I'd have to go to war with France. Is that possible? France is 200,000. Because I wanted I wanted to destroy Tuscany. I wanted to take all of Tuscany. Uh and it's it's possible, but I don't know. I, I think going to going to war with the French is probably probably not the thing we want to do. Probably just one of the things we don't want to do. Yeah. I wish I, I wish I could force Tuscany to break his alliance. France has defended the Catholic faith. I would love it if if he would not defend Tuscany, but I don't think that's going to happen. Unfortunately. Okay. We got plenty of separatists and things. Okay, so yeah, we're just really just coring stuff. I'm just waiting for, for cores to, to happen and to convert things. We're converting just crap tons of terrain just everywhere. Everywhere. And we're going to be done with our annexation of Tunisia pretty soon. Oh my god. The rebel sentiment is real. So we're trying to get manpower to come back. We get 3,000 manpower a month, actually, which is very, very impressive. And, uh... See, what's our armor professionalism look like? Looks pretty good, actually. Holy crap, Switzerland. Dude. Holy shit. Okay. It's just an enormous conflict is going on right now. We'll definitely win it, though. Damn you, France. Damn you. I'm hoping that this guy will die. Charles X Paleologos. I'm hoping that he'll die, and then maybe we could march in ourselves and uh, possibly possibly get a personal union over France. We'll see. We've got plenty of prestige. Uh, I mean, he's kept at like 99 prestige, though, which is pretty crazy. So, I don't know. And then uh, we could probably convert all that to Coptic. 
Okay, cool. Okay, overextension's finally coming down. Okay, so France just uh, went to war to defend, yeah, Bohemian Purge of Saxon Heresy, so he joined, he joined some sort of conflict over there. We'll see if he gets enough war exhaustion, maybe I can, maybe I can move in there on my own and, um, maybe I can move in in there on my own and actually, um, see what I, see what I can do about, about, uh, taking Tuscany. See if he gets enough war exhaustion or something for some reason. We go to war with the Memlux again in um, 1747. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, so we can do, we can declare on uh, Andalusia and, and take him out. What's his capital? Oh damn, it's Timbuktu. Interesting. Okay, so we'll definitely march down there in Africa. Uh, what's our force look like right now? We're at 2, 217, 239. Okay. If I was to go back to the Cossacks and um, probably supply them with arms and some other good stuff, we would have a lot more force in it. It's not a bad idea. I'm thinking about it. I think Mexico just got declared on by someone. Probably the Brits. Hmm. Holy crap, really? Oh, okay. I thought it said. I thought it said they uh, they rule over Bohemia. I was be like, what? Really? I was unaware. Biapas declared war, or uh, Memlux declared war on Biapas. That's not good. I wonder. Hmm. Damn it! Do the Memlux have a Delhi again? You bastards! Interesting. Ninety-five point five percent done with uh, with our annexation of Tunis. That's gonna be pretty nice to have all of North Africa under control. We show our resilience. Let's see, triumph for Anatolia. Trying for Italy, trying for the Balkans. We still don't have the trend for Anatolia, huh? What am I missing? Oh yeah, Cyprus. Oh yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, we'll take that soon. Yeah, we might be able to declare war in Tuscany. Right now, France is at minus 34 reasons. Minus 34 reasons. Or, um... Yeah, so positive 48... He's at, so he's at minus 14 reasons. 14. So... If he... If he um, if his war exhaustion rises up a little bit more, we, we might actually be able to... Uh, we might just be able to declare war in Tuscany. After that, it'll be, like... Oh no, our queen died. That's unfortunate. Hmm. 
Vampire Curve Speed is amazing. Oh, dude. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. That's a gorgeous color. I'm going to get rid of these forts. Don't want them. Oh, man. What kind of army did the Tunisians have anyway? Damn. Pretty enormous military force. Nis. Okay, so Tripoli. Uh, Zawara, Tetabin, Yerba. This is, I think this is technically supposed to be named Tyr, right? The Nis is supposed to be, um, Carthage. Yeah, Carthage. Seuss is supposed to be, uh, Hegemintum. Hegemintum. Let's see, Sifax, Yerba. I'm pretty sure this is Tyr. There's actually multiple cities of Tyr. Yeah, Tripoli. Tripoli is actually technically, yeah, Sirt. Yeah, this must be, yeah, so Benghazi is Cyrenaica. They call the, uh, yeah, Cyrenaica. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have my men down here. Let my people go. Okay, so we have four four armies basically, and we can actually make some states. Uh, yeah, I can I can make some states out of North Africa if I wanted to. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have to have any admin for any of this. Holy shit. It was gnarly, dude. We just made so many states out of this? Holy crap. Holy burgers. Lemson burgers. And then clergy and the nobility. Patriarchal authority. Oh, there it is. Okay. We declare war in Tuscany now. Both France and, uh, let's see, where's Alsace? We're here, right? Okay, we declare war in Tuscany, we annex Tuscany, both France and Elsass will not join. So let's go this guy, Imperialism, yep. We should be able to take this, maybe, let's take a look at it. 134 times point, was it 75, right? Oh, dude, we might not. We might not be able to, I don't know. New Aragon. Holy crap, Tunisia had 12 cavalry. <laughs> what the hell? Why? That's so weird. That's just a really strange number to have. There's a very particular number of Gav. He's got three fours, huh? Damn.
Yeah, we might actually have to take this before we can, um... Because this is administrative efficiency. So we might actually need that to take over, to take, to, to win this. Very interesting indeed. I don't know. I think I actually probably should focus on admin for a while. Because, um... Can I get better advisors? Dude, holy crap. We're collecting 60 ducats from this node. Holy living shit. If I can get there fast enough. Savoy is not having a very good time. It took for ends, eh? No. Damn it. Actually, I, I never really do assaults. I'm not gonna lie. I never really assault places, but that was not bad. That was actually pretty quick. I just usually just never really been motivated to assault places. I don't know. It's just one of those things that I don't do. It's very expensive. Very costly. Okay. Can I make more states? I don't think so. At least not for now. Once we get administrative, we can get more states, and this gives me another another couple states. Hmm. Holy crap! This guy's sixty-one thousand men over here. Whoa. Are you for reals? I can declare war in Portugal right now? Hmm. It's actually kind of a tempting offer. Very interesting. We can go through a lot of conquests here pretty quick. I mean, I need I need technically to take over Portugal, you know. So why don't we move an army over to there while we while we have a little bit of a chance to do this? I'm just gonna try and exploit this as much as I can, you know. And then we'll attack the Mamluks eventually. Let me try and exploit this as much as as possible. All right, fine. If you want to do that, then march over here. Actually, if that goes back, if that goes back to Savoy, then, then we could probably fully annex Tuscany. Yeah. And, of course. Wow. Oh, so you walked all the way around that way. I thought he was going to go through Africa. That's weird. Damn it, Austria. How are you defender of the Catholic faith again? Come on, dude. 
Shit, I was just about to declare this too. You bastard, man. Fuck. You busy with other things? Holy fuck. That is gnarly, dude. This guy has like a million dollars, dude. Oh my lord. That is incredible. Okay, so I can't annex him in one war. I almost could, but I can't. And I haven't given something back to. I don't know. Like, what if I did this? Like, give some stuff back to Savoy and. Yeah, I guess I should just take myself. Holy shit. Is it worth it? I don't know, man. I guess. Fine. I don't know. Okay. I don't know, man. What's combat with? Is it 40 now? Uh, what's my force move? I can go up to 270? Okay. So I had one army. Yeah. Let's get rid of the one in Genoa. I'll keep the one in Cuneo, I guess. I'll keep the one in Firenze. I'll probably get rid of the one in Ravenna. Or Urbino. Ravenna's right there. Um Where's my other army, dude? Oh that's right, they're in Ethiopia, yeah. So I have one army here. Here. And Is that really what it is? Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I should have more troops. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I need more men. Hundred and forty five overextension. That is incredible. That is incredible. Okay. Oh, that's right. This guy is here. Shit. That's what I thought. I knew I was missing an army. I knew he was here. sentiment there's more rebel sentiment I wonder if we should well let's think about getting rid of this this girl I probably should probably actually probably showed a Theodore but logos but I mean a 443 is not bad and then we've had Justinian as a 555 I'm telling you man I'm telling you that shit is funny it's funny that in Justinian paleo logos this guy was inaugurated in 1701 it's, it's gonna be 1740 right now this is the guy this is the dude that we got all of Italy Iberia and we integrated North Africa, and we could probably even attack Andalusia sometime pretty soon. I'm probably going to attack him after this war with Memlux. It comes up in 1746. 
It's like, dude, that's cr or 1747. That's crazy shit, dude. It's funny that that ruler, you know, because we named him, we named, you know, all of our rulers that were male, Justinian, you know, at least I tried to, but it's just, I just find it really funny that it just kind of happened that way. I don't know. It's just, I don't know if it's just me. Is it just me? It might just be me. Damn. It was strangely convenient. Apparently Tunisian separatists? Hmm. Regimentum, Carthage. I hope this Magna's right here somewhere. I think it's... I think it might be Suara. This Magna. Hmm. Let's look at the POPO. Damn it, I wish I could have killed Portugal. Yeah, that's alright though. If we do get the chance to PU France, though, we will take it. We'll have to. So that might be our way to get the Mare Nostrum. Because if I take France, I can push into the Netherlands and Britain with relatively little difficulty. I could probably integrate it all kind of fast. I mean, we've got what? We've got, um... Yeah, we've got some pretty gnarly overextension. Or, um... Diplomatic reputation. Portugal third war in Mexico. Austria would join me in a war against France. Which is actually pretty curious. I'll admit, does he desire French territory? No, he just he would join me. Like that would that would be crazy shit, dude. Is if I just started taking just crap tons of French territory. But to get a full annexation of this guy, it would take us, you know, an ungodly amount of admin. And probably like seven wars <laughs> yeah well te technically not because we'd, we'd be using the imperialism cb so 747 times 0.75 it would be six wars now what about the memlux memlux is for total yeah total war cost 510 510 times with this imperialism CV 0.75, so four wars for him, but we're about to get some administrative efficiency. Let's go reduce it by another 10%. Okay. So we can probably take all of this pretty soon. Sounds reasonable. Uh, when are we going to light despotism? Actually, my part more far... Yeah, I could use that admin. I know I know it's two grand, but I could use the admin. I know. Jesus Christ. Oh. It's gonna be annoying. I hate overextension, dude. God. When the hell is the leader going to die? I don't know. Oh, dude. You're messing with my admin.
Aspiration for liberty, huh? Regimental pride. Rome Orthodoxy Restored. The people of Rome once again followed the Orthodox faith. The few diehard papists that remain are in hiding. Well, this certainly doesn't end the Great Schism. If anything, it deepens it. It certainly gives the Orthodox Church's advan an advantage in the eternal battle for religious authority. Take that, schismatics. Yeah, my Shriek Anatolia, Balkans, Iberia, France, Italy. Yeah, we will know that. Carthage, Cahir, London. All right. Well, meantime, our armies are strong. Our coffers are full. Mm, our armies look good. Um, yeah, so we just got we got just crap tons of troops everywhere. This will absolutely be a world war of some kind. Yeah, that's actually the one thing I'm kind of sad about is the fact that we're after about Delhi now. Delhi is just really, really strong. 125,000. I mean, we could do it. We could take them on. It's just, it's going to be annoying. Okay. We declare war on Andalusia now. Take most of uh, take most of the stuff up here. Yeah, I guess I guess so. Hundred eighty thousand manpower. Still waiting on this speed succession. As soon as I see it, if if this guy dies and he gets his heir, then there's no sort of uh, there's no sort of um, what trying to say here. Yeah. So so if we get a succession and he's got no legal heir after that, we'll have to declare just outright. Death push their union with Poland. Is that so? I think not. I think not. We'll see. Yeah, if this guy dies, he's 343. Three. You never know. The chance to die might actually uh, might actually be there. Um, no legal error. We'll get a personal union if, if uh, you know, that guy dies. We'll see. Okay, we're gonna declare war in Andalusia pretty soon. Um, yeah, probably, probably uh, take the imperial capital of Timbuktu, the, the capital, and then um, Granada, Cortuva. I'm pretty sure Mercia is supposed to be Carthago Nova, Nova Carthago. Sevilla, Cadiz, Gibraltar. Mm. Man, I'm just loving this. That looks just so beautiful. It's really nice. 
1747, we declare one of the Mamluks. So if we're going to declare one in Andalusia, we should do it now. So I'm going to go to take back here, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks so much.